Yeah. It's Saturday today. I believe it's the 10th of April. And uh, it's pretty close to 2.30 in the afternoon. Redneck planter Garrett has been after me to complete this project for quite some time and hammered me again today. So we're going to try and do this. Uh, we're going to make some soil rapidly because I have very limited space on YouTube. So let me just show you some of the components that go into it. That's perlite. Over here we have sphagnum, the stringy type sphagnum moss. Okay, don't get the powdery kind, you won't be able to use it. And of course, rabbit manure. You can't see it well in there, but you can see that. So let me mount this camera, let's get started quickly before I do run out of time. I can quit stumbling around here and kicking this doggone tripod like I normally do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just grab some soil, junk soil. And I mean, this is, what, this is what I dragged out of some of those beds. And you can see that's really trash soil. So I'll just yank a few things out because we really don't have time for me to clean it up the way I'd like to. And uh, these are rhizomes for those dollar weeds. And unless you dig them up out of the ground and trash them, you'll never get rid of these. You can't get rid of them just by pulling them from the top. So, grab a couple more roots out of here if I can, and we'll dive right into it. As you can see, it's probably the worst soil you can find, excepting that it's already been worked over in previous years and at that you can see it's still trash so we're going to change all that right here and now this is never going to, well it won't be trash for several years once we get through with it and how we're going to do that is we're going to add a little bit of rabbit you know, right now it's the dickens getting it out of the paper bag you see these red worms can you see them John, Jabez, John was asking about that. There they are. Came with the rabbit manure. And there's a bunch of them in there, happily. This bag is good on me so I can hardly pick it up. The hazard's taking a delivery on a rainy day. Okay, that's enough for this little batch, I think. If not, we can always add more. <laughs> As I say, I can really clean this up later. But right now, just I want you to see what I'm talking about. We're using a trial today. Ordinarily, I would have four gallons of soil in here to which I would put at least one heaping shovel full of uh, rabbit manure in here and uh, two shovels of compost. Don't have that luxury today. So we got the rabbit manures in there. We do have some compost here and I'm going to grab that. I hope I'm going to grab these real quick. Yep, there it is. Yeah. There's compost. Believe it or not. So we'll just heap a little bit of that in there. And we'll mix that whole bunch of that up pretty good.
and then we're going to mix some perlite we're going to put half as much perlite into this mixture as normal because we got half as much soil to play with but I did it deliberately this way because I can do it faster this way and get it all on fill my home so I bought these measuring cups specifically for this perlite. I'm not exactly measuring, it's about a it's about one cup. I think that's going to be more than sufficient. Give it a quick mix. Because it's the sagman that's going to take the longest. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some amendments in here. Thankfully, they're right here. This is bone meal. I hate the brand, but until I can find another source, I'm stuck. And uh, we're going to put just a little bit of an oversized pinch in here. Because the MPK ratio is right. 690 is the 9 that we want, the phosphorus. Blood meal is hardly necessary right now, so we're going to just put the tiniest pinch, and I mean, that's about enough. I had that much that I threw in there. And the reason is because of the NPK ratio, 12 0, 0. The last ingredient is going to be what I've been calling green sand, is actually crushed granite. When I ordered it, I asked for green sand, this is what I got. And so I've been arguing with everyone. But the last time I ordered it, a little gal came back with a long bag of organic green sand. And I said, hmm, what is this? Let me see. I opened up this thing. I said, well, that's not the same. She said, well, that's what you asked for. She, I said, you asked for green sand? I said, well, that's what I asked for the last time. And I got this. And she got mad at me. But then she understood later and she came around so uh, I like it because once you put it in it's there for for the duration crushed granite's not going anywhere and it continues to emit slowly all the potash we need I hope if that doesn't prove to be the case I can always jolt it with a little organic so now we got the amendments in and now comes the arduous test of laying in the sphagnum. And the reason I say arduous task, and notice I didn't even measure, it's not important, is because you have to kind of chair it up so that it gets a good mix into the soil all the way around. I've stated before, after you put sphagnum in, if it looks like you've got enough, it's probably only half enough. Put some more in. And I hold with that statement. Uh, you can't have enough or too much, especially not if you're growing leek or carrots. Then you ought to have about 25% soil and 75% sphagnum, I feel. So otherwise that soil will continue to pack down. And I can tell you by looking at it, I got about one third the amount of uh, sphagnum in here that I want. So I'm going to hit it twice more. But I'm going to stop here because I think it's important that we get the whole thing done. So let me just show you what that turns out to be like. I don't know if I can get the camera closer. I think I can. This might work. I have no way to know because I wanted to do this so that you could see what I'm talking about and when I just take this and dump it into one of my beds I can go to any one of my beds and do the same thing and I swear you can grow anything in this soil so there's the soil mix video I hope I can get it on the tube if not I'll blame Garrett